What's up YouTube? It's Brandon B, aka Blaze here, so it's time for another movie review. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's pretty windy out. So yesterday I went to the movie to go see Tomb Raider. Now this is a pre-sequel to the Tomb Raider that came out years ago with Angelina Jolie. The, I think it's called the, the first one was just Tomb Raider, the second one was called Cradle of Life. Um, this one is like a pre-sequel that has to do with called The Rise of the Tomb Raider, the PS4 Xbox One game. When she was a teenager, now she got her start to be Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Um, Tomb Raider is actually based on an old classic video game that I think came out in 1994, 5, or 6 for the PS1. Uh, the movie was really good. There was a lot of action. Um, I saw a lot of how she became Tomb Raider. Um, a lot of it was about her and her dad. I don't know the main actress that plays Tomb Raider. I haven't really seen her before in any other movies. Um, but the guy that plays the main bad guy is in the movie called, I mean, in the TV show called Justified, uh, which is Void, I think. Um, the other cool person in this movie that made a short little cameo is, uh, I think, I can't remember his last name, but I think it's Nick Frost, the guy from Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, the bigger, fatter dude. Um, but overall, it was a really, really good movie. I highly recommend it. There was a lot of action. There was a lot of storytelling. A lot of good scenery because she goes to different islands and she goes to China and England and all over the place. But this is basically on how she gets her start of how she becomes Tomb Raider because at the end of the movie, you see her buy and go buy the guns and getting the outfit and getting all the tools that she needs to become. Laura Croft Tomb Raider in the next movies and the video games, uh, but she starts out as like a street person, um, she goes to like a gym, a boxing gym, um, she's not really that rich or famous because her dad goes missing, um, then she starts meeting up with these guys and she works for like a restaurant um, that does deliveries on a bicycle. Uh, but then you see her uncover her father's mysteries and her wanting to go rescue her father and her become an adventurer. So she goes over to this island, turns out it's run by Trinity, the evil group that I guess kidnapped or killed her father. But spoiler alert, her father is not dead. She actually runs into her father and tries to help him escape the island. But then they go to this underground barrel team that they've been all looking for and she unleashes a curse and the curse comes to life. Um, but she helps him bring, because if this curse got brought to, like, brought back to the mainland to spread a very bad disease like the plague. Um, so she helps uh, her dad by destroying it so that the main people don't, the bad people in Trinity don't get that disease. But at the end she discovers that the person that's been working with her is actually the leader of Trinity, which I think he goes, continues on into the one with Angel and Angel Lee. Uh, but overall it was a really great movie. I highly recommend it. There's a lot of great action, a lot of great storytelling. Um, the scenery was excellent, it was beautiful, there was a lot of suspense in it because of like the traps that she would have to go through and how she would have to climb through different things and go through obstacle courses. Uh, there was a lot of gunfights in it, a lot of shooting. Um, so overall it was just a great action adventure movie. Uh, basically Laura Croft Tomb Raider is basically the, the version, the girl version of Nathan Drake, the guy, Uncharted, the guy from Uncharted. Uh, but this one actually came out first. I have played all of the Tomb Raider games, and I actually really like them. I'm going to have to give this movie probably a 8 out of 10. I thought it was really, really good. Um, it was well written. The scenery was excellent. It was great story. Now, there were some parts that were slow, that drugged out, that died out. But other than that, it did pick up, and it led to a lot of action, because I really like action-adventure movies. So this was a really, really great movie. Everybody actually stood up and gave it an applause, and I don't think they're going to make another movie only because the ones with Angelina Jolie pick up right after this one ends. Um, but that's pretty much my it, my movie review for Tomb Raider. Uh, everyone go see it. I really, really liked it. I'm highly going to give it an 8 out of 10 um, because of action, adventure, great storyline, great uh, storytelling, great scenery. The downfall is it does drug out sometimes, like I said, uh, but I really hope it decide to try to make another one. Uh, they did show a lot of parts from Rise of the Tomb Raider in the video game to the movie, which was uh, really cool. I like how they compared the video game to the movie. I don't know who the director of this movie was. I don't know who the new and loyal. I think you guys think that the other video game movies were so all crap compared to this one. Um, I think except for like one or two. But please keep on watching. Subscribe and everyone go see Tomb Raider. Thank you.